so I want to be very very clear about my position on this um, because this video is not a promo to try to get you to stop reading books or like stop buying courses or you know going to seminars I mean educate yourself educate yourself as much as you need to but Gary V made me realize something extremely interesting like I mean the place that that man is in is a place that I desire to get to and I, I, I'm determined to get to and I will get to the place to where I mean who do you know have people spend thousands of dollars to come see them only for that person on stage that you pay your money to go see to insult you right so you know Gary calls his audience fuck faces idiots and fucking dick faces just everything like he calls them every name in the book and it just takes a certain type of understanding a certain type of courage and belief within yourself to be able to do that for people because you truly care about them at the end of the day so um you know i was reading books heavy um a few years back um you know ty lopez i came across him and one of the things ty lopez is famous for is scamming millions of people into reading more books so one of the things i can say um it, they, you know, these books definitely gave me a different level of understanding about just life in general, right? One book that anybody who knows me already know I speak highly about is The Science of Getting Rich, right? This book single-handedly changed who I was here, single fucking handedly, 90 pages, a book over 100 years old, shifted everything up here, turned me into a whole new man, right? So I can vouch for that book all day long, so I'm taking that book to the grave with me. The science of getting rich. I don't know what possessed him. Something possessed him. He pulled it off. And he impacted a fucking random hood nigga from east side of Detroit. <laughs> it made his way over here. So, But that book gave me some real value, right? And, I, you know, Ty Lopez encouraged me to just dive into more and more and more and more books. But then listening to Gary, he really made me realize that after you're done, you know, buying your courses, taking classes going to seminars, reading books. After you're done doing all of that, after that shit is said and done, it's always, 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 always going to come back to doing. It's always going to come back to the doing part. You can go educate yourself as much as you like, you know. Go read as many books as you want. Go to as many seminars as you want. But you're going to have to do it at some point. So when that point comes, you're going to realize, like, damn, I wish I would have started with the doing part and worried about everything else afterwards, right? So a lot of my friends think getting in business is expensive. It's, it don't cost you no money to go in business. I'm doing this fucking podcast right here that in the long run will probably eventually help my business. This don't cost me any money to start doing, right? Um, Henry Ford. Henry Ford was not educated, not a wise man at all, but he was really good with his hands. And so he focused in the area where he was strong and focused only in that area solely. If Henry Ford had to worry about marketing, advertising, uh, systems, uh, selling, just all type of other aspects that don't have nothing to do with putting some brake pads on or just fixing on a car in general, anything outside of that wasn't his shit. So, you know, it might not make sense to start out just like, um, let's say, Let's say you know you you know how to fix pianos or some shit. This is this is just extremely hypothetical. But let's say you know you was good at fixing pianos and shit, and you know you just started a podcast around like what musicians can start doing. You know when you know once they realize that they they keys are out of tune or this just don't sound right or something gets broken, you can be there for those people and be you know be a support to those people and, and help them whenever they experience those situations because nine times out of ten. They going on YouTube or they going on Google and they typing in the problem that they're experiencing. And here you go, a free ass podcast, going over certain topics that might be relevant to what they're experiencing and helping those people. It don't cost you money to do that, right? Some people might be like, well, how the fuck do that? How does how is that running a business or how does that got anything to do with business? What it's doing is it's building your brand. A brand is more important than a business. It's more important and it lasts a lot longer. Worth more. But building your brand, you can never go wrong, right? So if you're that go-to guy and you got these hundreds of thousands of people following you in the music arena and they respect you for what you do and the specialized knowledge that you have, whatever product you put out, 
they're more than likely going to gravitate towards it, you know, because they trust you. You've given them something. So, like, I mean, you can keep making the excuse that, you know, you, you need to do this to get into business or that got to be right. This got to be perfect. Or you got to live in this house. Or you got to make this amount of money. Or you got to wait till you quit this job. It's cool. Keep making those excuses. Like I said, that's why I, I, I talked about reading books in the beginning of the video. Like, at some point, once all that shit is done, it's going to come back down to the doing part. And so for what I realized is there's a lot of successful people who started with the doing part and everything else kind of followed. I'm going to say that again. There are a lot of successful people who started with the doing part first and let everything else follow that, right? So even a year or two ago, I was extremely focused on credit. Credit, credit, credit this, credit, credit, credit that, credit, credit, credit. That's what I was preaching to people. Get your credit right. Make sure this is right. Do this, do that. Get a credit card. Fuck a credit card. Fuck credit. Fuck all that bullshit, bro. When, like I said, focus on doing whatever that is you need to be doing for whatever life you're trying to live. Focus on doing first. Executing first. Trying shit first. Being in action. Focus on the doing part first and everything else will naturally follow that. Right? So, Eric Thomas, super, super motivational, very impactful, impacted my life. You know, he, he, he said him and his boy started out just putting out the videos. Like, let me just put out the motivational video. And, if you know, if, if it reached people, cool. If not, cool. But I'm going to just put the shit out. He did that. Now his life will never be the same. You know what I'm saying? People, corporate Hollywood pay him fifty to $100,000 to just come speak for an hour. Like, these are the type of opportunities that could be given to you for having the nerve to just do first and ask questions later right so i just say that to say man don't don't let this shit don't let this shit be an excuse to you like don't let those books be an excuse for why you're not executing or or feel like you're missing some type of specialized knowledge like you know what you know what you need to know to get started to to start writing or to start talking or to start recording you know everything you need to know so Everything else after that is really just an excuse. So like I said, I'm not trying to encourage people to stop reading, but realize when it's time to just start getting to it. Like, I'm such a fucking huge fan of Gary. Um, I slowed down on consuming Gary Vaynerchuk's content um, because I noticed I was, like he said, you know, a lot of people use watching his content as a mechanism to make it feel like they're doing something when really they're not doing shit. So it's interesting that he encouraged people to stop watching this shit. Like if you over consume people's content, you need to slow down and realize and ask yourself, why am I not making my own content? Y'all don't even know how hard it is for me to enjoy a movie nowadays. Like I can't even sit through a movie without telling myself I can do this or realizing something I would have did different or just critiquing it from a producer standpoint. I'm not watching it as a consumer no more. Like, once you get on the other side, it's damn near no going back. So, read all the books you want to read. You know, take all the classes you want to take. Buy all the courses you need to buy. You know. But at some point, it's going to come down to the doing. 